Thank you. Conference, as a member of the Security and Liberty Working Group, uh, it should come as no surprise to you uh, that I would urge you to vote for this motion. Brian Paddock has already made the case for the motion very well. However, there are some points in relation to what the current government is saying, particularly in relation to metadata, that I would like to address. A couple of months ago, I was asked to speak as part of a Q&A panel um, on the Investigative Powers Bill at the UK Network Operators Forum. Uh, the forum, in case it's not obvious, consists of the kind of people who run the internet. Um, I spent over 10 years being one of those people who helped run the internet. I asked, who understands exactly what the limits of the powers that Theresa May is asking for are? Do you really know what data you are being asked to collect? Now, if you believe what we're being told, every hand in that room should have gone up because we're repeatedly told over and over again that the engineers and people running the internet do understand this and it will be absolutely fine. There's no, there's no problems with it whatsoever. Not one hand went up. Nobody really understands the technical limits of the sweeping powers that are being asked for by Theresa May. I think it's, it's best summed up the confusion and the uh, perhaps deliberate confusion to get as much power as possible. Um, best summed up by a quote that's now infamous that comes from um, the draft investigatory powers bill. Um, and it says, data includes any information which is not data. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, that's now quite infamous. Of course, we're told that it's only metadata that people are after, or internet connection records. We, we don't quite know what that means, but it sounds innocuous enough, so I'm sure we're absolutely fine. But really, it, it's not that obvious. I'm going to read you a direct quote now, um, and it's from uh, an article written by a journalist called David Cole uh, in the New York uh, Review of Books, so it, it's not the Daily Mail, it's actually a reliable source, from 2014. And it reads as follows. As NSA General Counsel Stuart Baker has said, metadata absolutely tells you everything about somebody's life. If you have enough metadata, you don't really need content. When I quoted Baker at a recent debate at Johns Hopkins University, my opponent, General Michael Hayden, former director of the NSA and the CIA, called Baker's comment absolutely correct and raised him one, asserting, we kill people based on metadata. No other democratic country in the world gives such powers to its politicians to monitor and collect internet browsing history to this extent. The Tories and Labour are not going to oppose this. We must. Please vote for the motion. Thank you, Conference.